Hi guys, how are you doing? I know it's been a while, but uh, kind of been busy with some other things. So, here's one of the things that have been stressing me. Uh, the reason why I'm sharing, I'm sharing this with you is because uh, I had to do uh, an O-ring on this. There is an O-ring that goes here, so it was leaking. It, this is not what was on here. What was on here is already there, so I already put it. There's an O-ring that goes there. I'm sure you can see. It. So I had to change. I mean, I had to disturb. I had to disturb the timing but that is why I want to share with you on how to set up your timing on a MK1 or Golf uh, engine so like I said before this is the 2 liter but it's almost the same the difference just the difference between uh, the size of the engine but things that they are the same the timing is the same so first what you need to do is to check whether if your 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 pulley here I mean your what do you call your this pulley that this pulley right here is in line with there is a line in here just a dot do my best to show it to you There is a dot right here right here if you can see it so you need to make sure if it is in line with the tappet cover this tappet cover right here the lip of the tappet cover so you have to make sure that it is in line with it and then another thing uh, is another timing here timing mark here so the timing mark the timing mark has to be in line with that uh, arrow right here it has to be pointing here and then that is the second that is the side that, that arrow focus that arrow has to point here there's the second timing mark and then the third one is this one right here and this one has to be in line with this mark right here uh, this mark right here has to be in line with it so and then another one what you can do like I said I already took out uh, everything another thing you can take out your your spark plug this is a spark plug let's put it right here mm -hmm. Get your screwdriver. Let me get a screwdriver. So we got our screwdriver right here. Make sure that you have a long screwdriver. And then what you're going to do is to sorry for the shaking guys. Is to point it into put it in, in your number one piston. Let me come this other way. Your number one piston. Here we go. Here's your number one piston. So you put it in like that. Uh, so you see that the piston is up because this uh, screwdriver cannot go down. It is up. So that means that your piston it has hit uh, top dead center. So it is. Uh, TDDC so that means that your, your first piston your number one piston is up and then your tablet I mean your your valves unfortunately I cannot show you my valves but I'll just open here just to show you so fortunately I cannot show you my valves because there is a cover inside of uh, here inside of this uh, what do you call this uh, crank although this is not a crank I forgot the, <laughs> the name of this uh, pulley so uh, I'll get back to this one so what you need to make sure is that your valves 
are closed this is a valve this is a valve so what happens is that when you put your piston this piston right here I'm not sure if you will see it let me you can see it but there is that that black uh, that, that blackness right here yeah, there it is there is a piston right there so that means that our piston is up and then so this is a valve that means that our valves have, have closed so there is a compression on piston number one so on piston number one there is going to be compression on piston number one and then another thing what you need to do is to check your your valve has closed there's compression on piston number one what you need to do is check your your distribute let's pop this di distributor open uh -huh. distributor so this is this is our wire number this this wire number one that goes to piston number one so it goes it goes like that like this like this so it, it will go to here where is it it will go to yeah, a lot of things in the way there is our piston there is our uh, piston number one right there so our distributor has to be pointing at that piston at that wire i mean at that spark uh, that spark wire if it is not it means that your distributor is not in line with that uh, shaft that uh, this this shaft right here let me show you this shaft right here that means that you did not put your shaft in uh, in a time you mark if it is uh, or you just that your symbol gears this uh the, the distributor gears so this distributor gears need to be in perfect alignment with uh this shaft uh lines so as you can see right there it is pointing at our number one right here so as soon as you hit the key it's gonna jump from here although it, it is going to ignite there here but it's not going to start immediately then it's going to go to what is our it is going to go to piston number what is that piston so as soon as you hit your ignition it's going to go from one three two four so it's going to hit this piston right here but it's not going to ignite because already it is uh, on compression it, it, it is going to ignite but it's not going to start and then it's going to hit a uh, piston number three which is this piston right here then that is where you're going to get that poo and then it's going to hit uh, piston number two and then that's where it's going to start so if you have any questions guys uh maybe you didn't understand what i what i just said or if it, if i didn't say anything correctly please don't be shy to let me know uh, I'm learning myself as I go. I may have made mistakes. Uh, so you guys really, really do help a lot with your comments. Comment down below. Do like the video if you do like it. Uh, if I said anything wrong, like I said before, let me know. Uh, I may have missed something. Uh, don't be afraid to ask. I'll reply to you. And then... Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button uh, thanks for your support uh, see you next time bye